Hi everyone, in this video I'll be installing and reviewing this beautiful monitor from Philips. This is 27 inch Full HD monitor. The model is 271E1S. So here now I'm unboxing the monitor and you see on the top left corner of your screen the specifications of this monitor. The monitor is really well packaged and as you notice I unboxed it very quickly. To install the base you have two pinholes and two pins on the base. Align the pins with the pinholes and put them in and then with your hand turn the screw to tighten it and that's it the base is installed now. And this is everything that comes with the monitor, user manual, HDMI cable, power cable, and then the power adapter and another leaflet. And notice here the monitor only tilts. So this is the only physical adjustment you can do on this monitor. On the back of the monitor, you have the power input, you have the 3.5 millimeter audio jack output, VGA input, and then HDMI 1.4 input. After connecting the monitor to your PC, and here I'm using Windows 11, you need to install the driver for this monitor so to benefit fully from its features. So to install the drivers, you need to open your web browser and go to this site, philips.com support, and here put the number of your monitor. This monitor model is 271E1S, and then you select it here in the list, and then you click on it here also. And then here scroll until you find something called software and drivers we need to install the driver here i have windows 11 but windows 10 will work also so i'm gonna click on download file and the file will be downloaded once the file is downloaded it is a zip file let's go to the download folder and you need to unzip it to unzip it right click on it and then simply select extract all and keep everything by default and then click on extract all. So now it is extracted. You need now to go to the device manager so that you can identify the driver. To open device manager, click on the search icon here and then key in device manager and then select device manager and here's device manager. So under monitors in device manager, click to expand it and under monitors, notice here I have two monitors. So the first one is a Philips monitor and I identified it by the PHL here. So you notice that it is installed as a generic monitor by default. So as I said, to benefit fully from its features and from its colors, you need to install the driver. And to do this, right click this here, and then click on update driver, and then click on browse my computer for drivers, and then click on browse, and you need to navigate under downloads where you extracted the folder. So this is where I extracted the folder. And then when you select it, click on OK, and then next, and you notice here that it will tell you that Windows has successfully updated your drivers. And now the monitor will show as Philips monitor. So let's click on close. And you notice here that the monitor now is shown as Philips. I want to show you now how to select the best settings in Windows. So to do this, right click anywhere empty on your desktop. And then select display settings. And under display settings, select the Philips monitor. In my case, it is the second monitor. So I'm going to click on it to select it. And then I'm going to scroll here and I'm going to choose first display resolution. Make sure that it is 1920 times 1080. And then here you have something called advanced display. Click on it. And you notice here that the refresh rate, we are not benefiting fully from the refresh rate of this monitor that can go up to 75 Hertz. It comes by default here configured as 59.94 Hertz. So click on it here. And let's click the highest refresh rate, which is 74.97 Hertz. It will blink the screen and then it will show up again. And here, make sure you select keep changes. And now the monitor is really displaying its full potential. Now I want to show you the best settings that work for me. These are the settings of the monitor. And to enter in the menu of the monitor, you have the menu button. If you press on it, it will take you to the menu. So the first setting is that I kept low blue mode at off. Now to go down in the menu, press this button here, which is the down arrow. Now for picture, this is what I've done. For MPRT, which is the moving picture response time, I kept it on off. So if you're a gamer, it's better to put it on on and put the MPRT level at one or two. For the brightness, I put it on 40. I don't like the display to be very bright. For the contrast, the same thing, I put it on 45. 
Sharpness, I left it at 50. Smart response, I have left it at off. Smart contrast, I also left it at off. And for the gamma, I put it on 2.4. It comes by default on 2.2. I put it on 2.4. Now to go back, press this button, you'll go back. Now for the color, the monitor comes by default on color temperature and I think it comes at 6500K by default. For me, I saw that if I put it on user defined and I put the red at 83, this is the best picture that I get for me. So to go out on the menu, press this. I still want to show you the shortcuts for the menu. So this one is a shortcut for brightness and then this one is a shortcut for the input and this one here is a shortcut for smart image and this is if you're a gamer you choose the settings that you want and now i am performing a color test pattern on the monitor the monitor really shows very nice colors they are vibrant they are homogeneous on all the screen like the display they are the same on all the display and all the colors are represented accurately and now i'm trying here to show you the viewing angle of this monitor you see i'm putting the camera like at a steep viewing angle to the left and you see on the far right the monitor it's not too bad it really shows good and if i put the camera to the right it's the same so on the far left also it barely like dims a little bit so in the color pattern test and the viewing angle test this monitor is really good for gaming the monitor is really good and here you cannot see its full potential because i'm filming it from an outside camera of course and this pixelization you don't see any of them in real life and these are only the effects of the camera but nevertheless i wanted to show you gaming so that you see the vibrant colors as much as i can of course with my camera and you see that the gaming is really good on this monitor and the refresh rate is also excellent in gaming now let me tell you what i like and what i don't like about this monitor first let me start with the likes i like the fact that it has 75 hertz refresh rate which makes it perfect for gaming and I like the fact that also it provides vivid colors and a sharp image, especially when you install its driver. I also like the fact that it is budget friendly. And also for the bezel of this monitor, this falls between likes and dislikes, and I'm going to explain why. So I like the fact that it is really stylish, especially with this very small bezel. But, and this takes me to the dislikes of this monitor, this very small bezel that you have on the top of the monitor and on the sides of the monitor if you put a webcam on the top of your monitor it will hide a small portion of your monitor so this is something to be taken into consideration i also don't like the fact that the hdmi input of this monitor is limited to version 1.4 and also i mean this monitor has a vga input still in 2022 i also don't like the fact that this monitor you cannot swivel it the only physical adjustment for this monitor is tilting it. By the way, if you want to check out this monitor, I have an affiliate link in the description below. This is an Amazon affiliate link. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will help my channel greatly. And if you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And this will help the channel also greatly. And this way you'll not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy and I want to thank you all for watching. See you on the next video.